this. I'm gonna use Laura Mercy. Laura Mercy. I'm gonna use Laura Mercy. I can't even talk. My accent. Why? Hi, Laura. Yeah, I gotta just go full force. What up, what's going on? It's your girl Mina in this video. I'm gonna be showing you a bridal makeup tutorial. Now granted, I'm not dressed like a bride. You might do your hair differently as a bride. So the look will look different depending on what you plan on doing. You may not even be a bride. You might have just clicked on the video because you love me or you wanna see what this would look like either way. No matter which way it goes, I'm glad you're here. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up even before because you know it's gonna be bomb. You saw, the thumb you saw the thumbnail. You know what it is, okay? And make sure you subscribe, join my text community because stuff be going down. I got some great ideas for y'all coming up. Just stay tuned for that. Comment because I do random giveaways. You never know if you're going to win a random men I makeup mail box of goodies. You never know. So make sure you're doing that, okay? And this is freshly washed hair. I'm loving how she's looking. Comment and let me know if you love the curls on your girl. <laughs> Hi. All right, I'm gonna put her back. We're gonna give her a look. Sh These curls are looking good today. What's one? <laughs> All I did was wash and condition and put a curling cream product in it. I guess that's the simple things that make it look great. I did well. Hi. The good thing about this clip that I'm gonna put in it is because the hair is curly, there isn't a concern that this is going to leave a mark in my hair. The hair is curly, so it just is what it is. Yeah, her. Cool. Now, I have not done a bridal look in a very long time. The last time I did a bridal look was for a bride, okay? And that has been a very long time. So I need to remind myself on this bridal look. Just, you know, there are basics. I mean, obviously you can change out the products that I'm going to use. You can do something entirely different, but the basics are always the basics. And that is what we are going to be talking about today. Now I'm reaching for primer. Listen, let's talk about that. Four brides. And okay, I, I need to be careful because I want to talk about it as if I'm teaching a makeup artist how to do bridal makeup. That's not what this is. This is for you who may want to do your own bridal makeup, right? Or because I was re this was re requested. So this is for you who may want to do your own bridal makeup or you're just curious on what I would do for a bride. Let me do it as what I would do for a bride. That is what will compute easier in my mind because everyone's different. So I don't know what you won't want as a bride. You know what I'm saying? Okay, sorry. I'm making it more complicated than it needs to be. We are going to just go. Now, I like to make sure that brides are liked. I liked, okay. For a bridal look, I liked <laughs> for the brides to look matte, but not overly matte, right? Look like a comfortable matte. I do want the skin to glow. We are gonna do that a little bit, but I'm not into the overly matte look because depending on the weather around the time of the wedding. The last thing you want to do is look greasy. For instance, this past weekend, my niece got married. It was mad hot. It wasn't like it was 90 degrees, but with all the back and forth and the up and the down and the this and the that, you start to sweat, okay? So the makeup does need to last. Now, let me tell you, this Becca Evermat, I gotta put a lip primer on. This Becca Evermat isn't bulletproof mattification, right? You could, of course, powder it down like Jackie has taught us to do, but with bright you want to be really careful because uh, hello pictures video you don't want to look too crazy okay so let me prime my lips what i would recommend is matte because that's just what i like to do and this is the mac prep and prime lip okay if you still want makeup to clutter then you know i still have some elves in the stash but we're gonna let her chill for a second i'm putting her on a little ice right now okay she's she needs a little time out because she's discontinued even though she's really really good Alrighty, i would recommend because of the matte the kind of matte situation i want to do because it's gonna be matte glowy but still matte you see what i'm saying i'm gonna spray this urban decay all nighter ultra matte spray on my face on top of the becca ever matte poreless primer if your skin is wicked dry then clearly these two steps are not for you if your skin's combination like mine then this might work but if you're getting married in december in the cold don't do all this you want to stick with the hydration a hydrating primer a hydrating foundation i'm thinking more summer hot hot wedding because it's august okay so there's that. Ooh, got on my body a little bit too. And I might spray that at the end. I might not. Yeah, I might just leave it. Give it a little ash because of the primer and that is okay. Now the foundation I have next to me right now is the Maybelline Superstay. And I want to encourage you, you don't have to be using something that costs $50 on your wedding day. You could, why not? 
okay? But if you have a makeup artist or if you are doing your own makeup, we already know around here, if you've seen my, any of my drugstore videos, you should know that you can look real bomb. I mean, if you've been following me for any amount of time, you should know that you can look real bomb. This is an Sephora number 70 brush with a drugstore foundation. And obviously you can look really bomb with a high-end foundation. So it's just a matter of knowing what works best for you and just making sure that it, first of all, matches you. And second of all, it gives you the kind of coverage you want. If you're more of a light coverage kind of person, this super stay ain't gonna be for you. This is full coverage and I love it. You don't need a lot. The pigmentation is high or the concentration, if you will, is high. So you don't need a lot of it. I took two pumps and this, if I remember correctly, is going to be what I need for the entire face. All right, now, so when I talked about being glowy, right, here's the step where I'm going to add in the glow underneath it all. I could use the Rare Beauty Luminizer, but I want to use something different this time. This is my first time using it, okay? So we're trying this one out new, and I hope it goes well. I do, I do hope that this one goes well. This is Nude Sticks. What's it called? Nude Glow, Nudies Glow, excuse me, Ice Ice Baby all over face highlight color. Hi, Ice Ice Baby is the color. Now this is looking real silver, real iridescent kinda, but the cool part about it is that although it looks like that, it's giving this. Isn't that so sweet? Wait, I took a lot, but you get the idea. I took a little bit too. I clearly just like rubbed that way too much. Like, what does that mean? I have no idea. Okay, so <clears throat> I wanna put this on the, High points of my cheek. This is giving wet. This is giving, thank God I did not put this on top of my foundation because it is more creamy than the Rare Beauty product. And creamy means it's gonna lift up. So this is not something I would wanna put on top of my face. This in fact is something I'm, now that I'm using it, I feel can and should, could, go underneath the foundation. You see what I'm saying? Not me trying out something new to give y'all the bridal look. I can't do it. Let's go down the nose. I remember there was a product from MAC that I used to love, that I used to put down the middle of my nose. What was it called? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I'm so annoyed. This is looking a little bit wild, but we are gonna bring it together, don't worry. The idea of what I'm doing is the same. It's just this product is very new. So it's a little experimentation-ish, but it's all good. Oh, there's a little brush on the back. Hold on, because this is giving real wet, you know? I don't know, I don't know about all of that right now. <laughs> okay, let's blend this in. This is cool. I would prefer it under the face, but because I wear full coverage foundation, this to me isn't gonna do much under the foundation because is gonna cover the whole entire thing up. Let's say that I was doing a skin tint or a BB cream, right? Then perhaps, yeah. Or maybe like you mix this in with the foundation. I don't know, because I do full coverage underneath. Underneath it all, I think would not be the best for me. But this is cool for right now. So there's that, right? Now we're gonna do our concealer because duh, that is important. I would still do full coverage concealer on my wedding day. Like, why not? Actually, I did my own makeup for my wedding, in case you're curious. Like, two times over for the Ghanaian engagement and also for the American wedding. Like, why not? I know what I like, okay? I just, I'm not always into all the experimentation, alrighty? I, my Elf Cosmetics Concealer has finished. Right now I'm gonna use Fenty 430 and I wanna highlight a little extra with this Fit Me Concealer in the number 30, that's honey. I want more of a, mm, wait, I want more of an oomph with the concealer, okay? With the highlight concealer. So same situation here. None of this is gonna be new to you. The eyeshadow colors are what is going to be the difference. So let me walk you through this step up until the eyes and then we'll talk through all of that.
Now, one thing to note about the 430 Fenty Concealer is that it is very warm, like reddish orange in that case. I used the honey color because it's more neutral. I wanted to lighten it up, but not only that, neutralize it a little bit. You may not need to do all that depending on what color or concealer you normally use. I also focused it in the middle of my face, not toward the outer part of it. We don't want any harsh lines, right? Around the hairline, around where the contour is. So there's that and the contour is the usual. And Duty Cheeks Out bronzer in the color, what is it? It was Swaffy Tees, yes, okay. Now let's set this. I'm gonna use Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier. I'm gonna use Laura Mercier, can't even talk. My accent, why, hi, Laura. Yeah, I gotta just go full force. Laura Mercier, mm. It just does something to my soul when I let everything out. You feel what I'm saying? Laura Mercier translucent honey powder. I don't see how she translucent when she honey, but maybe it's because when you put the honey on, you don't really see it. I don't know, but that's the color we're gonna use, okay? And then face powder and we'll move on to them. Now, one thing to know is that I have gotten darker since being outside, especially this week at the pool. My chest is dark. I actually bought a rash guard shirt to wear at our local pool because listen, first of all, I'm getting dark, which I'm okay with, except I don't let my face burn. So the face is not matching. Not to mention my eczema is breaking out with the sun exposure. It's, it's just not okay for me. I'm just like, anyway, that's neither here nor there, but actually this here, it's here. I wanted to explain to you in case you're like, what? The face? That is why. You may even notice a tan. Anyway, when I finish, it'll all come together, okay? I'm going to highlight again in the same areas, but with the Rare Beauty situation on top of all of this. This is my usual. This will be beautiful. This is beautiful for every day because I do this every day, but of course, even more so gorgeous for a bride. So here we go. Back of the hand with the sponge and all the high points, you know. All right, I am applying this NYX Cosmetics White Eyeshadow Base to my eyelid, obviously. An, an eyeshadow primer is imperative, especially on your wedding day, okay? I'm being sure that when I'm getting to my crease area, I'm applying a light amount of it. One, I don't want any harsh lines. And two, you don't need a lot of creamy product like this caked up into your crease, all right? If you need a more broken down explanation of eyeshadow application. I filmed one video the other day. It's an eyeshadow mistake type video and I know that I've done it before too. So there should be two options for you to take a look at. Keep my forehead stretched because I don't want my crease to crease. <laughs> 
I don't want a crazy crease. Okay, I'm gonna use this Sigma The Dream palette, okay, with Beauty Bird and see how far we can get with this palette. I do believe we can get pretty far, okay? Keep my eye situation creased, like I told you, because that's real important. We're gonna go ahead and put the crease color in, okay? That's gonna be in the transition. It's a transition color. Let's just stick there, okay? We're gonna put the transition. See, look at that. Already the looking up and down, we got a little creasing. Take your finger and just pat it again. I could powder this, yes, but no, I want my eyeshadow to be the powder that goes there. Now, looking at that palette, I'm reminded that I don't have the reddish brown in there that I would like. So I'm using this Sigma Fiery Eyeshadow Palette in the color. Let's start off with Paradise first, okay? I'm gonna build up. I want this eyeshadow color to be really fantastic. So I'm starting off with Paradise, all right? There are a lot of palettes that can work for this look, okay? It's just a matter of finding the right colors to build this look into what you want it to be. This is really my go-to look right here. This is a look that I used to do when I first started doing makeup. It didn't look as good, obviously, but you know what I'm saying? It was doing something, you know? We're going to do a glossy lip because that is beautiful for brides. Of course, you can do something matte. This is the same color. Something matte would be nice as well, but either way with the lip, there's got to be touch-ups. You want something that's going to touch up easily. Glosses are tricky because when you're going to kiss your man, you're going to transfer. If you're going to wear a veil, you're going to get some gloss on that veil. So a matte is certainly appropriate for the occasion, but I don't do gloss often, so I'm going to take advantage of that right now and get a girl's a gloss. So we're applying our transition color, softly blending that into the brow bone so that there are, what is it? No harsh lines, okay? Taking some more of this color, building it up, making sure we're getting it right here in the front. I don't like there to be any separation between my transition color and the front of my brow. That's just a look that I like, you know what I'm saying? And even like right up here, I just want the brow bone to pop on its own, but not the front of the eye. And back here too, you don't want any harshness. I'll go over that again with my powder in a sec. Okay, so this brush was pretty fluffy. It's a random Thrive Cosmetics brush. We're gonna get some a little tighter to get right in there, like right in here with a darker color. And then we're gonna fan it again with this fluffier brush, okay? Now we can jump over to the Sigma palette that I was talking about. And we're gonna take this color Tacos and Chill. I'm just taking this palette because it's where it is what I have. This is a more of a brown, deeper kind of a brown. It's got some red in it still but it's darker than the one that we used in the beginning. That first one had a little orange, right? And that's okay. We're gonna really transition this, you know what I'm saying? Wedding looks can really go a few ways. You might want a smoky eye. Like you might wanna do the look that I call my everyday basic makeup look where I use my face powder on my eyelids, right? You might want that where it just looks really muted or you might wanna do a color, a soft pink or something of that nature. Today, Today, I'm going to do a light gold type color. That for brown skin is ideal all year round wedding look for brown skin. So that's the look I'm gonna do today. But really and truly, if you were to watch my everyday makeup look videos here on YouTube and IGTV, you are gonna be able to, you know, you can use that. And, and I have a version of it where I do a soft brown smoky eye, which I like, that wasn't really the intention, but it, it is, or like a soft burgundy type smoky eye. That is a nice wedding look as well if you want to look a little more sultry if you will. So there you know it's really your prerogative how you want to do your makeup or how you want to instruct your makeup artist to do it but he or she might have his or her own plans to make you look real good, depending on obviously when y'all have your consultation. So here we are, I'm blending that out, right? You see I'm going back and forth between, it's not the names of the brush that matter, it's the kind or the shapes of the brush, okay? So this is fluffy to blend out a bigger area. This is more tapered to blend out a smaller area, okay? Now I wanna take the other color, which is an orangey type, red type color, right? From this Sigma palette, Paradise is the color. The Huda Beauty palette that I used a while ago too, is really good it's obsessions that one's also really good nice 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 warm colors in there lots of palettes look like this right to give you all of these options i could do my full face with this but i want to try a different palette like the full eye but i want to try it okay now that we've done that <clears throat> i want to now deepen out the crease okay so i'm going to use woof woof to give some more character to this crease color so press between the eye bone and the brow bone right here is the crease let's deepen out the outer part of this if i bring this up more it makes the look more 
smoky, if you will, although on the lid, we are gonna open it up, but it will make it a little more smoky for sure. So little by little, just make your way to the front here, lightly feathering it into the brow bone like that. It looks a lot deeper in person, but because you're gonna be on camera, video and stills, you wanna really deepen this out if that's the look you want. If you want it to be like sultry, comment below if you're like, I don't know what I want. <laughs> I wouldn't even know what I want, <laughs> right? But just giving you some options here. You could keep the darkness toward the outer part of the eye like this, or we could bring it in, which is what I'm gonna do, which is what I normally do and stuff. We're gonna bring this right in here, okay? And of course, touching the front of the brow because that is just really important. Now this, if you've seen the video where I broke down the eyeshadow mistakes, might be reminiscent of that video, but I'm gonna show you a difference so that this is not a two times over type video, okay? So let's get this side to match. All right, now I'm gonna do the lid color. Let me get a brush, let's see. I'm gonna just take this Sephora brush. This is number 14. I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna do a gradient. I brought the crease color toward the outer corner of my eye, okay? And we're gonna just highlight this area. We're gonna do a soft, what you might think of as a cut crease, but not really. I'm going to be using a mixture of these shimmery colors here. I'll call them out to you, okay? So first we're gonna go with Buenos Dias and tapping it a little over here in this area, okay? And the same for here. I'm moving my contact the way I was pressing my eyes. Jeez Louise. Bringing this inward a little more. Same color, Buenos Dias. This could go all over the lid and it could be a real simple situation, but I want to add a little bit of pizzazz. Just a little bit, just a little tinge, nothing too crazy. You see what I'm saying? Bring it up. You want to open up the eyelid, not make it look small and closed. Bring it up to your crease a little bit. Tapping, because while we're tapping, we're also blending. That's also another way to blend all this in. And cleaning off my finger now, and I'm going to take Milagro. Is that what I want? Let's see. I think Milagro is what I want. Let me see. Putting it here toward the beginning. Yeah, let's do Milagro. Milagro or Milagro. Ooh, I like how that look, that little mix is looking, you know? Bringing it right here. Take some more, put it right there. See how I'm using two different gold colors to really make this look more than it was. We're just making it a little more jazzy, okay? I should lower this down so you can really see the color. Let's do that, all right? But we need to open up this eye. It is far too close looking for me, so bringing this shimmer color up a more up here up 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 and honestly let me use the brush to really round this out i want to open up this eye i want to look nice and awake this is kind of fluffy hold on let's see let me see this might, this might not be what i want hold on hold on okay it could work this is not harsh i don't want this to look cut crease it cut crease ish okay this works i'm gonna use my finger to get right up in here here, the finger will certainly give you more pigmentation. Do you see how that looks a little, little bit like a cut crease? But I love how it opened up the eye. Now, I want to bring it up more. You want to really open up that eye. You may or may not notice that difference, but that makes a difference. What I just did makes a difference, baby. Okay. And then with a smaller brush that has the brown color on it, woof, woof, just right back here to just subtly bring all of that together. Now for mascara, I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara on the top. I am going to do lashes. I am going to do my usual D22, okay? Linked below. Of course, all these items are going to be linked below as always. I always do lashes and I would definitely do lashes again if I was getting married all over again and doing my own makeup. And they're going to be real fluffy. That is just what I like. And then on the bottom, I'm going to use the Lawless Mascara because it is just the most fantastic mascara I have used outside of It Cosmetics. And we're going to do that for the bottom. Now for the bottom, we are going to do eyeliner. I was going to do an eyeliner to open up the eye but that's not a timeless look so i'm gonna just stick with black to keep it timeless okay
Okay, now because we are doing a gradient effect with the gold, I did take a little bit of the darker gold, the orange gold, to blend into the yellow gold, but I need to even it out on this side. So back with some of that on my finger. Like you see how you can see more here in the middle than here? Let's even that out. We're taking our time to look good. This is a wedding day look. Hello? You want this to look right, right? Okay, and yes, right into the crease a little bit. And then there's that, okay? And now as far as eyeliner is concerned, black is cool, but then that might be a little bit too bold for the kid. Depends on how you feeling, how you feeling, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do black. Let me just do black because it is just a standard great eye liner type look. I am gonna use powder because number one, I don't do liquid cream liners often, liquid or cream liners often. And number two, it'll go great. And I'm gonna make it like I'm gonna wing it a little, you'll see. So random black color, you know, I just take the, the Maven Beauty black one right here in this this palette. And we're going to look down and press, press, press into the eye line area. So as close as you can, right where the hair is at, okay? Right where your eyelashes are, we are just pressing. And as we're going inward, you want to slant the brush so that the eyeliner just looks a little more narrow. So thicker on the outside and more narrow on the inside, baby. I used to use a slanted brush to do this, but I can easily do it with a 212 brush because of course I've been doing this for a long time. As I'm going outward, I am going up a little bit so that it flares out more. I'm not gonna make this a wing or anything like that. I'm just fading the black liner into the dark brown crease. You see that? It just disappeared basically disappeared okay so there we go a nice subtle liner situation All right, now to further highlight the eye, I like to go in another shade lighter from all the gold. So we have orange gold, yellow gold, and now this is like a white gold. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna fluff that out a little bit. This is the color Libra in the same Sigma palette. All right, taking this real small brush, blending it into here. The inner eye highlight is just that I always do. I don't care what the occasion is, we gonna do that, okay? So I'm putting that right up in here. And then once it is applied to where I want it, I'm going to clean off this brush and then blend it out okay fade out any harsh lines so there's that okay now we need to put on our eyelashes and then do the bottom mascara and then the lip and we are almost there come and let me know what you think about this look already though because already is giving high it's giving any occasion but definitely bride maybe summer ride what do you All right, so ideally for brides, I love the lip to be a shimmer, but because my eye is giving shimmer, I don't want the lip to also give it because then it could look real crazy. So I'm gonna just use a matte, not matte, but a flat gloss. And this is Dosa Colors Macchiato. It is cream. It's not gonna match the peach. It's gonna tone down the peach, which is okay to make it more of a timeless look instead of like peach iced tea. I don't know. It's up to you. You know, you could stick with this or this is a piece of hair. Okay. Yeah, you could stick with this or do what I'm about to do. Okay, here we go. But I do feel like gloss looks really good and juicy. 
blend that well. All right, this is the finished look. I feel like it's really reminiscent of looks that I've done in the past, but I know that I haven't done this kind of a frosty eye, frosty the snowman type eye look in a very long time. All right, now of course the lip is going to get a little messy, a little cakes up in the middle, but it's worth it for the pictures at least. And you can always switch it up for the reception or what have you. But I want you to come and let me know if you would wear this look for a wedding as a bride. This could even be a look for the bridesmaids. Honey, this could be a look for the wedding guests, okay? Mother of the bride, sister of the bride, anyone who wants to come to the wedding to slay. Comment and let me know how much you love this look and what part about it you are enjoying, okay? With the lights down, we are looking a little bit more matched to the body, but it just is what it is right now, okay? I'm glad you're here. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. We need to know, we need to let other people on the inter internet, on the interweb know that we love this look so that they can find it and watch it and indulge and throw up and just love it. When something is so great and you vomit, it's like a great thing. Like it's not a nauseating vomit. It's like a, this is so fire, I'm going to throw up and then I'm going to smile because it's doing something for me, you know? <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, bye.